Welcome to The Journey. Today we're gonna talk about the five must-have tools to create a paperless office. I refuse to accept paper unless it's money. Woo! <laughs> Get it on me. So paper is wildly inefficient. It's not searchable. It's so cumbersome. You know, you're trying to find a receipt from maybe 18 months ago that yeah, good you have luck. no idea. So <laughs> definitely going green, paperless is the way to go. That's one of the things, speaking of receipts, I love when we travel for work is mm -hmm. everything's digital. So yes. yeah, sure, get the receipt, take a photo, get rid of that, and it's there, organized. I don't have to worry about losing it again. Very efficient. And I like it when people actually, some businesses text message the receipt to me, because I always yeah. have it, a digital version yeah. that I can refer back to later. Even my farmer's market does that because they use Perfect. the Square app. There so it's go. like, hey, don't have to have this exchange at all. Mm -hmm. Digital So world. many people are going paperless now. Yeah, so even when I go to the grocery, I used to jot down, you know, toilet paper, avocados, like on a piece of paper, et cetera, and it's like stuffed in my pocket. But now, no way, done with that. It's on my iPhone, mm. iPhone notes, go through the grocery. I just have this constant like grocery list that I update, delete, uh, update. Convenient. Yeah, very convenient, paperless, efficient, mm -hmm. better for the environment. Also, when it comes to like recipes, I made a vegan chili mm. last week. And sometimes think about it, you don't want your computer around the cooking. Mm, not you know. a good idea. Idea. Yeah, you could destroy Disaster it. But that's happened. where tablets have come in handy. Mm. I use my tablets all the time in the kitchen, just like set it up, up, prop it up. I'm not printing off the recipes anymore like I used to online. Find that good vegan chili, print it out. No, I'm saving trees and I'm making some pretty good vegan chili. <laughs> so what you're saying is next time I see you, I'm getting some vegan Yeah, plant-based all the way. <laughs> So Emma, hmm. what are some benefits of actually going paperless? Yeah, so weighing the benefits, because there's mm -hmm. like pros and cons to mm -hmm. everything, as you know. Um, some benefits that come to mind right away is increased productivity. Mm -hmm. Like when I was talking about the receipts, the work receipts. Don't have to waste it. all the time of looking for them. Yeah, you don't have to like find it or take the risk of losing them. They're digitally there on one place in my phone. Along with increased productivity, there's also employee flexibility. Oh, and just saving money, cost savings as well. She does like that kind of paper. I'm so frugal. <laughs> but some of the disadvantages could be higher cost in the beginning to get all this up and running, mm -hmm. upgrading some equipment, and even some compatibility True. with applications. True. So great point, Sam. But here are five ways to go paperless, starting with tool number one, DocuSign. Ever mm -hmm. used DocuSign? I use it all it the time. It saves my signature. I love that. Um, it's also, you have to go through Adobe Reader, so it makes it extra legit. Legally binding. Legally binding. And on top of that, it works on all browsers and devices. I've even done that using my cell phone, signing yeah. a document on through your phone, DocuSign. On your tablet, so on your convenient. laptop. So second, Evernote scannable app. Oh, you love this. It can be very beneficial, especially if you're a networker like myself. You can scan a business card and it goes directly into the app, gets all the relevant business information. Mm -hmm. But also you can use that app to actually send your LinkedIn information off to another prospective networker. So Emma, hmm. have you ever heard of IFTTT? Oh yeah, it's fun to tango together. <laughs> yes it is. But that's not what that that's was. That's not even tango. It's, it's like, what if, was that? <laughs> if this, then that. If this, then what? It's a workflow automation tool. So say you scan business cards like we just talked about. Yeah. If you have something set up to where after that action is taken, another action is done. Say it emails or it saves in a directory in whatever device you're using. I also heard that it's compatible with like voice assistants. So uh, you're like Ale yeah, Alexa, Google Home. Cortana. Number four, Microsoft Drive, Google Drive, and Dropbox. Mm. These are super rad because I do, I use them all the time. And you can access them on the go mm -hmm. and with your team. So like for me, I'm in San Diego, a lot of my team's in Austin, and we're constantly collaborating on the same projects, but with Google Drive, we have a lot of our docs there that we edit, whether it's slides mm -hmm. or Word docs or Excel, and we can all chime in, comment, edit. And what's also great is like a lot of documents take up a ton of space, yes. which when you think about the paperless world, 
instead of a ton of paper on your desk, <laughs> you're putting this all online, like a cloud-based storage. And you don't have to put all that on your computer, taking away all that space. And oh, that as well. Yes, that's a good point. I'm constantly running out of storage. It drives these guys mm -hmm. nuts. <laughs> I finally got a new phone because of it, but yes. I know, I can actually take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Evernote phenomenal app i use it every day i have my to-do list you can just yeah. jot down notes and it's also on browsers i mean you can just have this anywhere so the bottom line go paperless it's going to clean up your desk which if you're like me i spent way too much money on my desk and it's a piece <laughs> of art and it looks way better when there's not a ton of paper all over it but it also cuts down on operating costs mm. all right that's a wrap you just learned five must-have tools to have a paperless office Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to ring that bell so you're the first to know when our next video comes out. This is a journey. Thanks for watching.